Um, I'm Sarah Burnett. I am a political reporter for the Associated Press based out of Chicago. I'm covering the election for mayor in Chicago. I also cover other politics across the Midwest. On Tuesday, Mayor Lori Lightfoot lost her bid for a second term. She did not advance to a runoff election, which will be held in April between the two top vote getters. She was the first incumbent in Chicago to not win re-election in 40 years. The two candidates who advanced to the runoff are Paul Vallis. He used to be in charge of Chicago Public Schools and Brandon Johnson, who is a former teacher endorsed by the Chicago Teachers Union. Um, they will meet on April 4th to decide who will be Chicago's next mayor. There were nine candidates in Tuesday night's election, no one got the more than 50% of the vote in order to win the race outright. So that means we move to an April 4th runoff between the top two vote getters, which were Mr. Vallis and Mr. Johnson. It's very unusual for incumbent mayors to not at least advance through the first round of voting. She stands alone in a few regards. Um, Chicago does not have term limits. So a lot of major cities have term limits for mayor. They're limited to two terms in office. Um, we've seen in Chicago mayors who have held, held the office for many, many, many years. Um, she tried and was unsuccessful. First Chicago mayor in 40 years to not win a second term who sought one. But it's also one of the biggest mayoral races to come after the end of the pandemic. And the dynamics in Chicago have changed completely since four years ago. Four years ago, the mayor's race centered around corruption at City Hall. That was the main issue on voters' minds. People really wanted an outsider to come in, clean up, how business was done in the city. And Lightfoot was that person. She had never held political office before. She really ran as someone who was going to change life at City Hall. Then the pandemic hit. There were protests over racial injustice. Lightfoot really tangled with the teachers union. There was an 11 day teacher strike. The things that really mattered to voters this time around felt very different than where we were in 2019. And she was having to answer for a lot of the things that happened in the city, maybe some of which were not anything to do with her. <laughs> 